Next topic, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get into, we're going to talk about a digital dollar. This is a question I always have for people, uh, very big cryptocurrency people. If you, As you know, I'm not a very big cryptocurrency person, uh, mainly due because I'm not smart enough to really understand it. And if I don't understand it, I just go off to something that I do understand, right? Not that I don't want to learn anything new, but when it's too complicated, I think that over time, the cream will rise to the top. Just like in the marijuana industry, I'm not smart enough to pick the right marijuana industry. We're going to get into the COVID-19 vaccination as well, but I can't pick who's the new guy. But over time, once everybody get through shaking this stuff out, you're going to realize the top companies in the marijuana industry over time. Now, the next thing, the digital dollar. Why is the digital dollar a big deal? When I asked every, all my cryptocurrency enthusiasts and my people, I asked them, I said, well, what if the government, I've been saying this for years, what if the government creates the U.S. government creates its own digital dollar. It's my belief the dollar is already digital, right? Think about it. You can operate just fine by using no cash. For prime example, somebody right now can, during my live broadcast, They on Facebook, I think you can send stars. On YouTube, you can uh, donate to people. You can donate to people. You can send money via Facebook. You could donate people on YouTube. You can donate to something. It would go directly into my account. I can, as it hits my account, I can leave here, go get a pizza, not touching cash at all, all digitized, all everything is digitized. Boom. This person, I can send you $5 on, on Facebook. That $5 will go into your bank account. You can go to your nearest bar, buy you a drink, go home without touching $1. And I know they're saying the coin shortage is due to employees not working, not making coins. But I believe coins are going out of style. Who's really using coins? What adult is walking around, average adult is walking around carrying a, a pocket full of change? I mean, I have change, but it's in my cup holder. I have change, but it's probably sitting on my desk, uh, a counter somewhere. But I don't really like, oh, let me make sure I got this change in my pocket. If I'm driving through a drive through and they say, hey, that's going to be 11 cent or 5 cent, I may just reach over into my console and pay for it or whatever I'm doing. But most of the time, I don't carry change. I don't think the volume, the, and what I mean by the volume, the flow of change is old school. Nobody's really doing that anymore. So I believe the dollar is more digital than something. Now, do I believe it's a cryptocurrency? Of course not. It's not a blockchain, anything like that. But we're already on a digital dollar. The dollar is very digital as we see right now. And something I knew for a long time, um, it's something it's something in competition, right? Um, if you create something, let's take me for example. Let's say if I create something and CNN money really loves it, they can either one, bring me on board, or two, they can just copy what I'm doing and steal it. For prime example, you see that with Facebook and TikTok. TikTok came out, TikTok start to explode. What did Facebook do? Facebook created a version of TikTok inside of uh, Instagram called Real. When when you see Periscope start to go live, you can go live via Periscope. Facebook started letting you go live. When Zoom became a very big thing, Facebook started letting you go in Zoom. That's what big companies do. Facebook, remember when Facebook tried to buy Snapchat for $3 billion a couple years ago and Snapchat said no? Guess what Facebook did? Facebook turned around and created they, got, they hired the people that created the filters for Facebook, I mean for Snapchat, and hired them inside of Instagram. So we see this all the time when I saw Bitcoin come out, and it's a thousand cryptocurrencies. I had friends that created cryptocurrencies and friends that are very big cryptocurrency enthusiasts. Nothing wrong with that. And they were like, man, this is so good. It's a new age of this or that. I said, hey, you know what's going to happen? They said, what? I said, I think the government is going to see that. They're going to catch on to it, and they're going to turn around and make the dollar digital. That's all. We, and I said, what's going to happen to the value? And I asked this on my Instagram today. What's going to happen to the value of the other cryptocurrencies if the dollar becomes digital? What's going to happen? Right now, people say Bitcoin, but inside of the big inside the cryptocurrency world, it's a thousand cryptocurrencies. You know, you got Ethereum, you got Litecoin, you got this coin and that coin, VM, you got Venetium. And Ven People walk by me every day. Hey, you know, you heard this new cryptocurrency? It's so many of them, right? How can you pick one? I know there is a mutual fund out there. I can't remember the name of it. It's, I think it's JBTC. Don't quote me on that. But it, it tracks the cryptocurrency world. But what would happen to the value of, crypto, of the other cryptocurrencies, all these cryptocurrencies that are out there, if the dollar 
becomes digital? Will they increase in value? Would they decrease in value? Would they stay the same? Would it push the whole industry value up? I don't know, but I think that we can do it. I, I always kind of assumed that eventually the dollar would become maybe not a cryptocurrency, but I knew it would be digitized because we're halfway there. Now, why am I talking about this, ladies and gentlemen? Am I just pulling this out of my behind? No. Right here, ladies and gentlemen, what I have pulled up in front of you is from the federalreserve.gov. This is from the federalreserve.gov, ladies and gentlemen. So we're going to read the press release they put out. I think this was a couple days ago, two, three days ago. It's on here. So, yeah, August 13th, which was Thursday. They put this out on Thursday. And it says right here, Federal Reserve highlights research. This is coming from, so y'all won't think I'm pulling up something. This is from the Board of Governors, from the Federal Reserve. You know, the people that print our money, create our money, all that good stuff like that, control the interest rates. This is what they said on August 13, 2020. The Federal Reserve highlights research and experimentation undergone, under, undertaken to enhance its understandings of the opportunities and risk associated with a central bank digital currency. So the Federal Reserve on Thursday highlighted the research and experimentation undertaken to enhance its understanding and the opportunities and risk associated with a central bank digital currency. This initiative uh, complemented a board set of payments related to innovation projects currently underway within the federal government system. Here we go. This is quote unquote. Given the dollar important role, it is essential that the Federal Reserve remain on the frontier of research and policy development regarding a central bank digital currency, said the Federal Board Governor Lee Brain Brain Brain. I can't say his name. I'm horrible with names. Like other central banks, we are continuing to assess the opportunities and challenges as well as the use for useful case for a digital currency as a complement as a complement to cash and other payment options. Is cash going to go away? No. Has checks gone away? No. Checks are still here, but who are writing checks? I think dollars are going to be like that. So right here on August 13th, this is coming from the Federal Reserve. They're exper experimenting with creating a digital currency. Now, before we get into it, let me see what y'all say in the comment box. Healthy said, finally. <laughs> finally, right? Okay, con okay, Concord, North Carolina. Shanrika? Shanrika, I think that's her name. You say your name? Thank you. You're on it. She was the one that's been hitting up all the good stuff. He said, Bitcoin is the mecca of crypto. Yes, it was the first one. Hello, uh, Kendra said, LOL, then Zuckerberg played dumb during the hearing when they asked him about, he said, ask him, did he copy the company? Cop of course, man. That's what the big boys do. Big fish eat little fish, especially small times like this. Right. So big fish eat small fish in little times like that's what big companies do. If you create something good and they like it, first, they're going to try to buy from you. If they can't buy from you, they're going to copy you and put you out of business or at least attempt to. Encrypted money will go insane if the dollar goes digital. People love their privacy. So that's true. Now, my belief or my thought process is. If the dollar goes digital and you have all these other cryptocurrencies out there, why utilize Litecoin when I can utilize the digital dollar? Now, granted, I know that everybody's going to say Litecoin is private. You can't trace it. You can't pay this. You can't do that or whatnot. Why use dollars, right? What would happen to the value of everybody else? Are people going to jump somewhere else? Oh, look at her. She is on it. All right, she's on it. That is the article right here, ladies and gentlemen, what I'm talking about. The Federal Reserve highlights research. The Federal Reserve is experimenting. They had already been talking about it. They just did official press release on Thursday saying, hey, I saw this over the weekend when it was saying, hey, we want to experiment with a digital dollar. We're looking to get it. Got to think about it. The Federal Reserve has an unlimited amount of money. They can build any type of 
blockchain, which I do believe in blockchain. They can build anything. They can hire the best crypto encrypted people in the world, right? So they're definitely looking at this and they're looking at the risk and associate. They may go down that path. Will this make the crypto world blow up or will this make the crypto world go down because everybody will go to the digital dollar? For prime example, when, um, let's say for prime example, this happens all the time. You have a company like Snapchat comes out with a great idea. Snapchat is a new company. It's kind of building this momentum. But you have a company that's already big like Facebook. Facebook turns around. If they copy what the smaller company is doing, it automatically hurts the value of whatever they're doing. Take me for example, right? If you really know me, you really follow me. You guys and girls know that I've been on this podcast thing for years and I've written children's books on financial literacy from insurance to credit and investing. Bank of America could easily, why would Bank of America want to do business with me? They could easily take what I'm doing, copy it, make it 10 times better, get better distribution, get way more advertising, way more marketing, way more marketing dollars, and just push me right out the way, act like Prince Dykes never existed. That's what the big boys could do. They could come to me and say, hey, Prince, you know what? We like this whole Wesley Learns thing you're doing here. How about you join us over here at Bank of America? And I say, no, I don't want to join you guys. They said, well, we'll give you $5 million to do it. I say, no, I, I, I don't want to do it. They're like, okay, cool. They're going to go back in their office. They're going to create exactly what I'm doing, 10 times better, way more money behind it. That $10 million they're going to give me, they're going to turn around and put that $10 million into marketing my copycat. That's what they do, ladies and gentlemen. We know this. So, welcome to capitalism. Let's see.